Farmer's Market. Just these two rows, but we've gotten some good deals. Fun tasting stuff. Dad's taking stuff to the car. We've got some fish even. Yeah, get on the outside of the tank, put your ear about halfway down. Do you hear them? Yeah, they click. <laughs> they get pretty excited. It's like being a barn full of horses. They all start talking about it. Now, they are eating. They're pretty excited. They all kind of got together, started swarming the shrimp. When we first started, the seahorses would not look at the shrimp. They didn't want to have anything to do with it. What was wrong with it? Not fresh water, it's, what you say? Dead. That's what I heard. Yeah, it has to do with them not moving. There's predators. They want to chase dinner. And we've asked them to be scavengers in order to extend their life. It came down and we had to find a brave and hungry little seahorse to kick off the party. So as we went to the farm every morning, we knew they were hungry. We offered frozen food. It took us two weeks. We found one taker. That was it. And every day we went back to his tank and we said, wow, he likes it. What would you folks name a seahorse who likes it? Mikey. There it is. Our Mikey ate anything. And seahorses, they will learn through observation. They'll copy each other. This one Mikey taught his entire tank to eat frozen shrimp. He got a job and he got to travel from tank to tank to tank. Across the entire farm, it took about a year. He taught everybody how to eat frozen shrimp. So operation in the bag. We had a very cute. Isn't it cute? Oh, you just you should lean over a little bit for the camera there. Oh. You're a good coral reef. That's right. Well, technically speaking, the top of the head are the gill slits where the coral is. We have red, orange, yellow, pink, peach color, white, silver. Silver? Yeah. Looks like she wants to go though, so it should be separate from yeah. hands. Very good. She sure is. Oh, look at this guy. Can I have a turn? Yeah, absolutely. So I just go like that? Yep, fingertips together, thumbs apart, and you want what half a tail believe in the water. Thumbs apart. Thumbs apart. There you go. Here's the tsunami warning. The Queen Charlottes have had an earthquake. And so we're gonna have to do makeup in a hurry. <laughs> and there's oh. Jessica, because you never know you who's never gonna know. see you. Yes. But I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's due at 10:25 tonight. It's well, I don't know what time it is now. We're in an evacuation zone, so we should be. Okay. We are in an evacuation zone, but we're. 100 I don't know how high up off the ground we are. 100 
feet. 100 feet off the ground, so we think we're okay. Um, we'll let you know. <laughs> mm. Boats are headed out. Boats are going out to sea. Cars are going up the hill. There's Kona Town. We were just in the Hilo we were Pacific Tsunami Museum. Yep, we just did the Hilo Tsunami Museum, and we so just body that surfed. Ship that was anchored there. And so oh, yeah. That's so right. They're underway. So the cruise ship is gone. No. We're back from the Magic Sands Beach. 